Right, Joel, so Jersey coming up on Friday. What are your thoughts ahead of that one? Uh, well, from a personal point of view, it's, it's a good chance to, to get out there and, and get some more game time and work at certain aspects of, it, of my game. Uh, in terms of a team point of view, we're looking to continue to develop little patterns we're developing, little, little partnerships, as it were, and building towards that playoff, playoff season towards the end. So it's, it's an exciting time and it's an exciting game for us to try opportunities, to try patterns, to try plays. And, and hopefully they'll come off and we can go on and, and then the following week in the British Irish Cup we can experiment again and, and get the whole mixture all right. And a pretty comprehensive result at their place earlier on in the season. What do you think Jersey's biggest strengths are? Well, we, we've highlighted a couple of players. We've highlighted their eight as being a big, strong ball carrier and a ta talismanic figure, as it were. Uh, we know that they've got a right-left foot kicking option. So we have to be wary of that in the backfield. And, and to be honest, the biggest thing they probably thrive on off is this relegation battle they're going through at the minute. Um, certainly a lot of the boys who are in the squad who we had last year will, will know all about that. You, you, you're literally fighting for your lives and, and every day is a scrap. So they've got that, they've got that fire in their bellies because they've done immensely well to get into the championship and I'm sure they want to stay here. So I think that drive and that desire to stay up and, and really fight and the dog fight will, will keep them through. And you touched upon that, I mean, we're obviously 20, uh, 20 in a row now in the league, which is a fantastic achievement in itself, but uh, do you think there's almost a sense that Jersey are going to come here and definitely try and roll us over with us being uh, definitely my favourite on Friday? Yeah, I mean, we've had two close scares recently with uh, Bedford and Nottingham, but we've come through that, which is excellent. In every game, if you ask any other opposition in the league, they see this, they see Newcastle Falcons as their big playoff game, so we're literally fighting fighting boys every week knowing that they're going to bring out their A game because they want to knock top dogs off the, off the spot so we're, we're under no illusions what to expect it's just it's all about how we prepare mentally and physically for that and make sure we're in the right state of mind to deliver a job on Friday night. We've both touched upon this superb season man what's the secret behind all this success? Uh, I, I think it's just it's, it's, immense, it's immense hard work that goes behind the scenes I mean you come here and you see the coaches cars they're in from nine till five every day boys when they're out on the, on the training pitch and when they cross that white bush we're under no illusions it's, it's switching switching on time and, and really delivering the goods because if you don't if you don't train hard you're not going to play hard if you don't do what you do in training you won't take it onto the field so that it's a big mindset of ours train how we play be physical in training you'll be physical on the pitch that's all and obviously yeah, the playoffs whispering quietly just around the corner now in May. Uh, is there anything in particular that the team are working on on the training ground ahead of them? Uh, no, no, we're just still working on our patterns and plays and, and trying to develop new ideas and, and new ways to break down opposition. As I, as I said before, it's, like a, it's a bit of an experiment this season and, and we're thriving off it and seeing what works and what doesn't. Um, what's quite encouraging from the last two games is they've been close games had to grind out a win in the dying seconds and that's what playoff rugby is all about so we're learning from that and, and it's good to be on the right end of it I mean in the past we've been on the wrong end and you don't, you don't really reflect on what, what points you've learned anymore because we are, we've lost sort of thing so we've won on the two two close games and we're starting to get a feel what playoff rugby is all about and, and developing certain ways to, to come around that and, and work on that. And how difficult is it to prevent almost overconfidence creeping in in the dressing room? I'm sure Dean and John have had a lot to do with that. Oh well, to be honest, if, if you could look at our results, we've had some phenomenal results and there's only one that we've been really happy with and that was Newport at home mm. in the B&I Cup. We felt a 93-0 win, we delivered from start to finish. Um, so every week there's always things just to pull us back down to yeah. back down to earth and, and, and things to work on. So we're, we know what we're about, we know what we've got to work on, we know what we do well, we know what we don't do well. And it's all about keep working at everything, not just the bad things and developing our skills uh, and making it to the required standard of a premiership and the outcome, hopefully. Brilliant.